While the NPP and the Tinamul Congress are battling it out to be party number one uh, in Meghalaya, especially in the Garo Hills, what of the Congress party? The party seems to be running a more low-profile campaign, but it has a few high-profile candidates, including the three-time MP and the Meghalaya Pradesh Congress chief, Vincent Pala, who is also, I can tell you, the wealthiest candidate in the race because your assets, more than 90 crores in land, uh, but I don't see the money being spent on the campaign. You all are running a very low profile campaign this time. Yeah, definitely, sir, because uh, we are in the opposition. Huh. And at the same time, you know, we should know our capacity also. So with that uh, in mind, I think uh, strategically, I think we thought that we should have a low profile campaign. But will that, not, will that not affect you in this election? Are you confident that you can play, the Congress has a role still to play in Meghalaya politics, even though most of your party has gone to the Trinamul? Yeah, but uh, I don't think it affects because uh, Meghalaya is a small state. And if you get uh, nine to 10,000, it's enough for you to win the elections. So to uh, sensitize the nine, 10,000 people in a small state like Meghalaya, uh -huh. I think it should not be a problem. We don't need to be very high profile. We don't need to do lots of marketing like uh, other, uh, other parties. Uh, you are the richest candidate as per your assets, 90 crores in land alone. Mm. Uh, you were originally reportedly in coal mining in the Jaintia Hills. You've got lots of property. You're, you've done well for yourself, Mr. Pala. Uh, I think that is wrong. I had these, all these properties and all in coal mines I had before I became a politician. Yes. 90 crores is only the value of the property which has given us per the market rate. Rather, you can say that I've given an honest, uh, you know, declaration. You compare to them, they have lots in uh, different, different... So you're saying that the other politicians who are much richer than you have not declared their assets honestly, right? Yeah, definitely, I think it's like what it looks in the, uh, in the open market. If you see many of them, they have so much, more, much, much more than me. Everyone is telling me this is going to be a hung assembly. So how many seats and who will you go with after the election? I think it's very difficult to say how many seats we are going to win. But well, who will you go so, with then? No, because uh, so many uh, leaders have switched from one party to the other party. Many of them switched from uh, NPP to BJP, many from uh, BJP to the Congress at the uh, office, office bearers level. Right. So it's very difficult to say that we'll get so many seats or other seats. TMC told me we are ready to tie up with anyone to keep the BJP out. Uh, are you ready to uh, shake hands with Mukul Sangma? No, that will depend on the high commons decision, oh. not my decision. <laughs> what is your view? Uh, my view... Who is your main opponent here? The main opponent here is uh, the NPP and the BJP. It, it's not uh, TMC or other. Are you going to be the next Chief Minister of Meghalaya? I think man proposes, God disposes. Man proposes, <laughs> God disposes. That's a nice way. You're a God-fearing man, I can see, Mr. Pala. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I haven't quite seen a political rally like this. This is UDP country in the Khasi Hills of Meghalaya. Most political observers believe that no government can be formed without the support of the UDP, the original regional party of Meghalaya. This time though, the UDP has a precondition. They would like a Khasi chief minister of their own. Will that happen? Let's find out. I just heard the music. You know, you guys really know how to move. <laughs> but I, I wanted to ask you, Bedba, uh, this time, the UDP's role. 
Are you going to play kingmaker or do you want to be king? Uh, well, we would like to be king, not a kingmaker, <laughs> just a kingmaker. <laughs> because you were part of the last NPP BJP government. This time, do you want to lead the government? That is our uh, target and the goal that we have set. That's your target, to lead the government. Is there a precondition that this time you believe that because there have been 13 years of a Dado chief minister, this time it should be the turn of the Khasis. Is there that sense that the UDP as the party of the Khasi Hills feels their time has come? I believe in performance and delivery. Well, uh, I don't go by what, uh, you know, maybe what people are thinking. I have nothing to say on that. But for me, uh, we, uh, you've been given a chance to be the leader of the state. We have to look at the welfare of the people. No, but some of your own party men are saying that there should be I a mean, Khasi chief minister. can't stop anybody what they want to say. <laughs> you see yourself as the original regional party of Meghalaya. You don't see NPP as a regional party. You don't see Conrad Sangma as your leader. Well, uh, see, uh, NPP he was your chief minister. minister. NPP is not a regional party. It's a, it's a national party. NPP is a national party. But if I asked you today, would you rather go with the BJP, NPP, Congress, Trinamool. Who is your choice? Everyone is looking at you. That's why. So we, we, let us see and let's cross the bridge and see. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Thank Wish you. you all the very best. Yeah.